Welcome back to Trojan TV Halloween Edition. I'm Avery. And I'm Ryan. Hey Ryan, are you going trick-or-treating this year? Yeah, most kids are. I caught up with some students on the Stosky Show to see what their plans for this Halloween are. Fine. Hi, welcome to the Stosky Show. I'm Stosky and I'm going to be asking the student body about current topics. Today we're talking about Halloween and trick-or-treating. I'm here with TJ. Zachary. Jacob. Lewis. Faith, Cindy, Keegan, Reagan, Sills. When do you think students should stop trick or treating? I think that high school is a good age. For me, probably eighth grade ish. They can trick or treat as long as they want to. Eighth grade is a good time. Never fear inner child. Eighth grade, yeah. Probably after Halloween. Are you going to be trick or treating this year? Yes. Um, most likely, yeah. I do not know yet, but maybe. Yes. I'm not sure. Probably. What's your costume going to be? A panda. I don't know what I'm going to be yet. If I was going to do a costume, um, maybe, like a, maybe like a green suit or something. If I were to trick or treat, probably a zombie or something. Uh, a plague doctor. Something scary, not kiddish. Inflatable T-Rex. Cool. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Stosky Show. I'll see you next time, and this is Stosky signing off. Students who earned a 3.5 GPA or higher last year received an invitation in the mail to apply for NJHS. NJHS is a community service group for 7th and 8th grade students. Applications are due to Ms. Rogers today. Get your screams on at Screams in the Dark. It's at the fairgrounds from 7 to 11 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays and 7 to 10 p.m. on Sundays. Also, Jacob's Corn Maze, one of my favorite fall events, has corn mazes, hay rides, and more. Make sure to check it out. The annual East Middle School Craft Show Extravaganza will be tomorrow at East from 9 o'clock a.m. to 3.30 p.m. There will be arts and crafts along with a silent auction. It is free admission and everyone is welcome. All proceeds will go to support the LMC. The manufacturing industry is very important. It is responsible for producing all of our goods. Two weeks ago, 8th grade Trojans had the option to go on a manufacturing day field trip. We caught up with Reese and Betsy to learn more about this awesome experience. You get to see some pretty cool stuff and travel as well in this job. Manufacturing, you will always travel. There's always someone that wants to travel. Recently, EMS students had the chance to experience manufacturing in action and how it could affect them in the future. The benefits for us as a manufacturing facility for having this field trip is we are allowed to bring in the students and show the next generation what we do and what manufacturing is all about in order to try to get talent for the future so we can sustain our business for years to come. There's other opportunities that a lot of people don't know exist. McKenna Flaherty was one of the students included on this field trip and learned a lot from the experience. It benefited me because it showed me job opportunities that I wouldn't have known if I didn't go on the field trip. I enjoyed seeing how different parts were made and how something very small could contribute to something very big. This has been Recent Betsy reporting for Trojan TV. The 2018 Washington, D.C. trip is full. Applications are no longer being accepted. You only have a few more days to get a great deal on the yearbook. Prices go up $10 ac after October 31st, so make sure to order the yearbook. Student Chromebooks have been having some problems recently. If your computer is not working, feel free to stop by Tech Central to drop off your computer and borrow a loaner. Leap registration for sports is now open for the school year. You can find the sign-up pages at tcaps.net. 
Payment is due at the time of registration and reduced rates are available. Visit the TCAPS website for more information. Speaking of Halloween, let's head down into the dungeon. Avery and Betsy caught up with Miss Littlefield Dungeon to learn more about her with your teaching experience. Yeah, it was just like, oh, you just do this and this. There's a lot of new faces here at East. One of them is Miss Littlefield Dungeon. She is looking forward to teaching theater to Trojan students. I have taught in Traverse City Schools for 25 years, and for the entire time that I've taught at this in this school district, I've wanted yeah, to teach this theater. Doesn't work. I did use my fine arts major and teach some theater classes. I also taught theater summer classes here in Traverse City through the TCAP system a long time ago and it has always been a great passion of mine. Dungeon is looking forward to putting her twist on the theater program. We start out always in acting doing a lot of stage movement and we move on to voice only after we know exactly what we can do with our bodies to share our characters and what and what the meaning of the story is. I'm trying really hard to show them what it'll be like to costume things and what it'll be like to do the makeup on stage and we'll be doing sound and technology kinds of things. She is aiming to give her students their best middle school experience. I'm hoping to build the theater program and make it even more exciting. Um, I'm hoping that we get like as many people as we can possibly get involved and get excited about it. This has been Betsy and Avery reporting for Trojan TV. Thanks for watching this episode of Trojan TV. You can follow all of our social medias at EastDMC. And make sure to check out our website, the link, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Trojan TV East, for more awesome stories. Have a good weekend, Trojans. Bye. Bye.